Hello, back again to do another unboxing and review. Today I have an item from Basius. This is the BA-03 Immersive Virtual 3D Bluetooth Receiver. Which, okay, what does that all mean? Well, essentially it means you can get audio equipment that you may have already owned lying around the house. Um, let's say like a gaming headset or maybe your fancy home theater um, speakers. And as long as that audio equipment has one of these, a 3.5 millimeter plug, you can turn that audio equipment into Bluetooth speakers or Bluetooth gaming headset. Okay, so now you may have seen um, Bluetooth receivers elsewhere, maybe at the checkout at Best Buy, hanging on the impulse buy rack, right? And hey, that one's only $15. Um, so why bother getting something like this? Well, this one offers features that those do not have. Um, also, I'd like to say, even though it's promising all these great features, the price of this item is still quite affordable. So, with that said, let's go ahead and take a look around the box. Alright, so, first off, I should say there are two color options. Black, which we have here, and then there's also one in white. Okay, that's, we already talked about what it's called. Down here, um, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. Okay. So there we can see that there's a 400 milliamp battery. You have APX and APX LL, CVC noise reduction. But if you look up here, you see there's this uh, Bon Jovi DPS. So this item is actually kind of like a collaboration between the this their Bon Jovi's uh, sound studio and more in particular the DPS that they created and Basius. So um, what that all means from what I understand is that this um, sound studio, recording studio, which evidently has had very popular um, artists uh, record there, they've come up with like an algorithm and that algorithm is evidently included in this uh, device. Okay, so um, there, yeah, okay, music symbol, makes sense. Okay, turn it on to the back. Here we get kind of an image of what the device looks like. And now this, these specs are going to be a little too tiny to read, so I'm going to go ahead and put up a still shot of those zoomed in. I wanted to go ahead and add this because I don't believe it was on the spec sheet that you just looked at. But these are some of the other features that this device has. Notably, it does have a Qualcomm chip inside. You have that Bluetooth 5.0. You see it supports some... Um, you know, standards of Bluetooth coding. You have that lossless decoding, so you shouldn't lose any um, sound quality, even though it is Bluetooth. Then you get the noise reduction. Then you can see the charge rate right there, which is pretty good. And of course, it's NFC pairing, so pairing should be even simpler than it already was. Okay, so continuing here at the bottom, we have a pretty little seal there. That is Basius's official uh, seal. And also we see it's past QC. So um, this uh, comes from what well, we all know, Basius. And just in case you're wondering, they are, um, it appears to be based in Shenzhen. And that, of course, is in China. So, yes, made in China. Uh, we have a barcode there. And then on the side, here we have some of the specs. Bluetooth 5.0, a built-in microphone, and 1.5C quick charge. Over here, just, yeah, nothing there. Uh, we have a nice retail hanger here, nice and sturdy. And this you can't already, if, if you didn't already see, this is actually uh, wrapped in shrink wrap. So nice and smooth, and there's nothing on the bottom. Okay. All right, so overall impressions of the packaging um, it works, it's clean, and um, what can I say? It's more of this uh, trend that seems to be really caught on lately and is continuing to stay relevant, which is the minimalist. Um, package. Not only is it not a huge box, but it's simplistic. I mean, you have the picture of the item. Pretty much everything else is just white. You have some text. Uh, this side here has absolutely nothing on it. And um, so, yeah, and people like it. So I kind of, you know, whether it's my favorite or not, I've just come to the conclusion that this is kind of the trend. So there it is. But it is nice. It is tightly wrapped. It does feel secure. Um, it does not feel like it would crush easy, and the retail hanger is on there quite sturdy, so it does give it, it some uh, quality, perception of quality before we even open it. All right, so let's get to the unboxing. I'll start by cutting off the shrink wrap here. Looks 
like we have something down here. I'll cut this plastic here. I think that's what's stopping the box from sliding out of the sleeve. So. Now there it is. Okay. Okay, so nice presentation. Have the item right up there. Let me see, they're powered by that um, special DPS. There, okay. Let's see, I'm assuming all the equipment. We'll put him aside for right now. Let's see what's underneath. Oh, that's cool. Okay. So we have some paperwork and some accessories. Take a look at the paperwork. A thank you card from Basis. And of course, there's a QR code so you can follow them on WeChat. Of course, remember this is meant to be sold in China, so WeChat's huge over there. Uh, we have what appears to be an instruction manual, or maybe a well, nope, warranty card. And uh, yeah, so Chinese and English on that. And here is the instruction manual. So, again, English and uh, Chinese. So, so, I'll look that over quick, but let's get to the accessories. Come in this nice little box here. a nice little carrying bag with drawstrings and everything and inside there the charging cable oh, looks like it's more than just charging cables look okay so it's two cables the charging cable which as we know now is type C right there and then of course we have our male 3.5 to male 3.5 cable all right and this pouch yeah this is a it may be synth synthetic leather, but even so, it does feel way more plump than uh, a lot of the other um, cheaper imitation stuff. And there you see, there's your uh, logo there, basis. Okay, now let's get back to the item. So, yeah, the clip is definitely metal. And uh, let's see if the body is metal. I believe it's supposed to be aluminum, right? Uh, we have that as a body. Now let's check out what we have down here. There's your Type-C for charging. There, of course, is where you plug in. 3.5 millimeter. You can, if you look just right, there is the NFC logo there. So, then their name, Basius. Um, then a little LED, probably to indicate that it's connected. Maybe flash, blue or red or whatever. Over here we have, um, well, there we go. Over here we have three little dots. I'm pretty sure that's your battery level indicator. It said in the feature list that there was a real-time battery indicator, so I'm assuming it's three. Interesting, usually they have four dots for 25, you know, etc., 1500, but whatever. Um, so three dots will work, I guess. Okay, then we have an up and down buttons. And then there's this button here. At the, at the top portion, there's also a little pinhole that might be the microphone. Yeah, but the button here, I'm pretty sure, according to what I read, this is the mode selector. Oh, I just turned on. So, all right. Um, yeah, so it ships uh, charged. Well, of course, I'm going to still do the initial charge anyway to make sure I got it fully juiced up. But anyway, going back to this, I believe this is the um, mode selector button. It looks like it might also be power. So... I'll read the directions, but somewhere there's supposed to be a button to select between the two different modes, and we'll get into that later. And uh, oh, I didn't show you this on the back. So they're really powered. They're really proud of this DPS. So it's kind of like all over the place. Okay, um, as far as the clip, it has some spring to it, and the top. Now this is just plastic. This right up here. Okay, um, yeah, it's actually really light. It's actually lighter than I expected. 
but I suppose if you're clipping this to your shirt or whatnot, it's, it might be good so it doesn't droop your whole short shirt forward by you know, its weight. So, all right, so with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and charge it up and then of course we're gonna test it out. All right, so I've had the chance to use this device for a while now and uh, well, let's go over what I've discovered. So, uh, we'll start here. Um, I wanna talk about this button. This is, in fact, your multifunction button. It does everything from turning the device on and off, to answering, to hanging up phone calls, to switching equalizer modes, and all that. So, go ahead and turn it on here. So, all right. So it's going to be blinking white because right now it's trying to connect to my either my smartphone or my PC, which both have the Bluetooth turned off at the moment. So hence it's just steadily blinking. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. And if you watch the LED. There you are. So it, you saw it was red. So it turns red in one of two cases when you turn it off, like I just did, or while it's charging. It'll be red until it's fully charged, and then it turns white. So it's kind of nice to have two different color LEDs. All right. So now let's talk about this multifunction button. Um, one of the main other uses besides turning it on and answering calls and all that is it helps you, it allows you to switch um, between the different equalizer modes. So this device has four equalizer settings, modes, whatever you want to call them. They are popular, jazz, classical, and 3D sound. So of course the 3D sound that pertains to games and the other three to music and movies. All right. So, now how do you switch between them? Well, the device is on and connected and running. You double click this button here, just like a mouse, double click, or in this case, double push, and it, it'll switch. Also, um, this has English voice um, confirmation. So, when you switch to, like, say, it'll say 3D sound, popular mode, jazz. So, yeah, that's how you know what mode you're in. You'll hear that through whatever headset you have connected to this. Okay, so um, now also, I should, before we move on, I want to talk about the, the connecting. So this has apparently near-field communication um, pairing. I didn't use that. I mean, simply con connecting a Bluetooth device used the, through the normal method is just so easy and it works so well. I didn't even see the point in using the near-field communication. I mean, if you can't set up a Bluetooth device, yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I don't know. That may work. I don't really personally care about that feature. So, but anyway, setting it up the conventional way obviously does work, though. Okay, now let's talk about the, um, what I did with this. So, I did a few things. Um, I should talk about my sources first. The sources are, you know, where the sound is coming from. It would be my smartphone and then also my PC, my tower desktop. Okay, now, what did I connect to here to be able to hear? I used three different uh, headphones, earbuds, whatever, earphones, whatever you want to call them. The first, uh, let's talk about these. Right here, These. this is what I used for gaming while I was connected to my desktop. These are my Dream Gear GRX 350s. I, in fact, I did a review on these a while back. Uh, then the other, um, this is what I used when I was connected using my smartphone. These are my iHomes um, earbuds. These are the metal ones. And yeah, they sound pretty well. Good. Um, and they also have an inline mic. And that'll be important when we talk about phone calls. Okay, and then there were one, there's one other pair that I don't have here right now. They are my, uh, we'll say, extremely affordable Sony earbuds. Now, I would say earbuds but they kind of really aren't um, I don't know but before we got to earbuds like these here there was a time when they had these um, they essentially look like hooks that go around your ears and then the speaker portion kind of fits side well, well sideways it goes straight sideways into your ear so I guess you could kind of think of them as like the precursors to actual earbuds but um, now the reason I use those I think those are, came out like around 2010 so they're kind of an older pair of earphones but the reason I use those is because I wanted to test this device for what it could do without assistance from you know a better set of headphones okay so now with all that let's talk about phone calls alright so I try to make a phone call with all three of the headphones that I showed you well the two and then the one I mentioned right and uh, well let's talk about the phone call didn't go very well the phone calls didn't go very well the reason is is because no matter what um, what I used, whether the head, they had a 
inline mic or it didn't have an inline mic or had a big old boom mic like this guy here, the person on the other end said they couldn't hear me very well. And I said, well, can you please explain? And the one person I called, they said that it sounds like there's some kind of interference. So they're having a hard time hearing what I had to say. And then the other person said it sounded like there was mechanical noises. Yeah. Um, and that person, by the way, told me, hey, just to let you know, if I got a phone call like this, I'd probably just hang up on the person. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, um, the phone call thing didn't go very well. And um, at this point, I'll mention I was using my LG V20. That does have Bluetooth 4.2, and I think this has, what did I say earlier, version 5 or whatever. Now, Bluetooth is backwards compatible, so there's no reason it shouldn't have worked, and I've used my LG V20 with plenty of Bluetooth um, headsets and stuff, and they all worked fine. So I don't think it was my phone, I think it was this. So, yeah, at this point I was kind of thinking, huh, yeah, maybe this thing is not as good as I was hoping. But... I didn't stop there. I went ahead and did the other part of my test, which is listening to music and playing games. So for this part, I used both my smartphone and my desktop PC. We'll talk about the desktop PC and the whole gaming. So I went ahead and pulled up one of my favorite games, and I was using these guys here, right, connected to that. And wow, um, I was surprised because, let's say, a few minutes into my game, I completely forgot I was using Bluetooth, and I swore these were plugged directly into the computer. And in fact, I think these even sounded a little more powerful. I, yeah, can you imagine that? So this here must have some kind of amp in here because it was really making these things woof, 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 and I was getting really good bass out of these. So um, yeah, I, I wasn't expecting that, so that's a definite uh, plus uh, for that. Then let's go to the smartphone. I was playing a rhythm game. So, yes, music is actually very important for those games. It's a huge part. It's not just background noise. It's actually the major part of the game. And um, and I was using these, had these in my ear. And it sounded really good. Um, so, yes. And um, I, both for the game, of course, I was using 3D sound. But uh, also, even if I was playing the rhythm game using, um, like, popular mode, it's, that was mainly for, like, the music. That worked well. well. Of course, it was a music game, right? So that makes sense. But the 3D sound really did work well. Um, I could hear the sounds coming around me. And, ooh, the guy's on my side. Turn to shoot. You know, okay. So anyway, um, yeah. So for when it comes to that, this does a fantastic job. Actually quite impressed by it. All right. So in conclusion, would I recommend this device? Answer is no. Now, initially, I was going to say, it depends. If you're doing this, yes. And if you're doing that, no. But I'm going to switch it to a flat no. For the following reason. One of the things it did really well, as we talked about earlier in this review, is it played games well. It sounded great. And that was fine, but I just realized something. I was playing a single player game. <laughs> now, if I was playing multiplayer and I wanted to chat with my squad mates, how would I do that when the microphone doesn't seem to work, or at least works poorly? So, because of that, we kind of have to scratch games off the list of things it does well. So, we're left with music and movies. So, if you're only going to use it for that, then yeah, but I'm going to have to go with the fact that most people buying a device such as this is going to want it to do everything, not just two things out of a list of five or whatever. So because of that, I have to switch it to no, which is kind of a shame because it does sound really good. 